Okay, so uh, are you ready to get into some of the cool new features coming up with Evo's Origin OS 5? Yeah, I'm really excited to dive into this one. We get some really interesting uh, insights from the Tech Horizons podcast, and I think our listeners are going to want to hear all about this. Yeah, definitely. So uh, Vivo is like seriously stepping up their game in terms of what our phones can do right, especially when it comes to AI. Yeah, and, and what I think is so cool about it is how seamlessly they've integrated AI into things that we do every day, right? It's not just about these like flashy features. It's about genuinely improving the user experience, you so know? Totally. Yeah, and one of the features that really stood out to me was this thing called Atomic Island. Oh, yeah. And, like, it's not just a little notification hub. It's almost like having, like, a mini control center right in your status bar. It is. It's like a whole new way to think about multitasking, right? So instead of having to, like, constantly switch between apps, you can manage tasks, reply to messages. You can even preview content all within, like, a single screen. Yeah. So it's really all about, like, streamlining your workflow, and it's all thanks to this little, you know, dynamic island that's incredible i can already see how much time that would save me like just in my daily routine for sure and then there's this uh v circle search feature yeah this like next level contextual search precisely so this feature really leverages advanced image recognition and natural language processing to understand what you're looking at okay so let's say you circle a landmark in a photo right it'll instantly pull up information about it or you circle a word in an article it gives you definitions related articles the whole nine yards so like having google lens but like even more built into the os exactly yeah now this is where it gets really interesting okay vivo has a not one but two ai assistants oh wow blue heart v and little v that's a lot of v's so what's the difference okay so think of blue heart v as like your strategic partner Okay, so it's a generative AI, and it can handle, like, complex tasks, like planning trips, writing, like, really compelling captions for your social media posts, even writing emails. Wow. Now, Little V, on the other hand, that's your always-on tactical assistant, okay? So it's focused more on the everyday tasks, like setting reminders, optimizing images, even summarizing your phone calls. Hold on, summarizing phone calls? Like, how does that even work? Well, basically, it listens in on the call, right? And then it uses AI to, like, pull out the key points and summarize them for you. Whoa, okay, so Blue Heart V is the big picture thinker and Little V is all about the details. Exactly. But, you know, handing over these tasks, like summarizing calls to an AI that raises some interesting questions, right? Like how much control are we willing to give up? It's a very valid question and it's something that I think we're gonna have to grapple with more and more as AI becomes more sophisticated, you know? But you have to admit on a more practical level, imagine how much more productive you could be if you could just get a quick summary of a missed call instead of listening to a whole long voicemail. Okay, yeah. That alone would be a game changer for me, for sure. Yeah. But it's not all about functionality, right? Yeah. Vivo has also put a lot of thought into personalization. Oh, yeah. This panoramic weather feature <laughs> sounds so cool. Oh, it's gorgeous. What is it? So imagine you open your weather app, right? And instead of just seeing like static icons, you're greeted with this like dynamic horizon view that reflects the current weather conditions. Oh, wow. So it's a really beautiful blend of information and aesthetics. That's awesome. And then of course you've got your customizable lock screen widgets to make your phone truly your own. I love that. Yeah. And for those of us who are constantly trying to manage our smart homes, there's this connection center feature. Yes, this yeah. is huge, especially for smart home enthusiasts. Right. Okay, tell me more. So imagine controlling all your lights, your thermostat, even your car, all from one central hub on your phone. Oh, wow. It's about creating this truly connected ecosystem. And I think Origin OS 5 is making that a reality. So I know that Origin OS 5 is already rolling out to the Vivo X200 series mm -hmm. and the iQOO 13 devices. Right. What about the rest of us? Well, Vivo has said that they are going to be rolling it out to other devices soon, but an exact timeline hasn't been released yet. So we'll have to stay tuned. Yeah, definitely keep an eye out for that. Well, we've seen how Origin OS 5 is pushing the boundaries of what our smartphones can do, but here's something to think about. Okay. As AI gets more and more integrated into our devices, is it possible that we become so reliant on it that we lose some of our own skills? Mm -hmm. Is that a trade-off that we're willing to make? It's just something to consider, you know, as we experience this new wave of technology. That's a really good question. So thanks for joining me on this deep dive into Origin OS 5. Yeah, thanks for having me. And we'll catch you next time. See you later.